Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Roxanne. This is my video do demonstrating the Rossi Nail Dip Powder that I received and I actually purchased six, eight more dips. So anyway, you will not see me except for my hands today and I will go over what I have done to get this nice, nice, nice uh, Manny. So the first thing you see me do is filing my nails. I just want to take off the shine and any oil and grease. You should also um, give your nails a, a wipe down with acetone or alcohol just to make sure that they are clean. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is to shake and roll the dips. This is just so that you have even um, pigment uh, throughout your dips. So the other item I have included here is to make sure you keep that safety seal. A lot of people don't, and if you store these um, products on their side, they will spill. So because these are new, I did uh, grab a clean tool and I did uh, give it a stir just because the jars are so full. I won't do that again with my next application. Okay, so here's my first finger dipped. As you can see how easy it is. I just put on the base, nice and thin and then dip it at an angle. I tap off any excess uh, powder because you don't want it to build up and look like it's a hump. So then I take the e.l.f. Kabuki brush and I wipe off any excess powder before going to my next color, which I do two accent nails on my thumb and my, um, my ring finger. So we are going to do this a second time and I have sped it up because you guys don't really need to, you know, study this part. So you're just going to do a hairline um, for the second coat. You're going to do a hairline away so that you can kind of build it up and look like a natural curve rather than uh, right to the um, cuticle. So you let that dry for about two minutes and then you move on to the activator. And what I was doing there was uh, I did the one coat of activator and um, then I gave it a light buff just to make sure there was any irregularly um, smoothed away. And then what I did was I grabbed the alcohol cloth or sorry, um, acetone, and I gave it a quick wipe down and then I did a second coat of the activator. You're always going to want to do two coats with the activator. You're going to let it dry. You're going to uh, make sure this hardened because that's what keeps your coats um, kind of like glued together. So here I am doing the second hand. So um, what uh, I think I kind of went through quickly there was doing two um, two of the base coats. You want to do two base coats. You're going to let the first one dry. It's going to kind of look marbly and weird. That's because the first coat is just lying flat on your uh, dip nails and on the activator. The second one is going to fill those in and give it a more glossy and healthy shine. If you mess up here, you do not have to start over. All you're going to do is file down the top coat. Uh, you're going to get down to maybe the activator coat. Maybe do another coat of activator and then put on the two coats of um, the, the top coat. Make sure you let them dry in between. Um, I know I kept going off screen here and I'm sorry for that. So I was just doing some filing. I know with my second hand I had a bit of an issue with one of my nails. Um, so... I believe this is the top coat and this took me I believe about an hour but the nice thing is, is I will have this pedicure or a manicure for um, approximately three weeks as long as I've done it properly so here is the final results coming up let me know in the comments what you think of my final look and what you thought of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did thanks for watching